Now let's talk about what may be the most important question when it comes to foreclosures. Will you be held responsible for the deficiency? Yes, this is the million dollar question. Well, maybe not a million dollars, but it is perhaps the most important question that needs to be answered before a borrower decides to proceed with disposing of a distressed property. In the foreclosure context, the deficiency is the difference between the fair market value of the property and your remaining loan balance, plus the cost associated with the foreclosure. Unfortunately, whether or not you will be held responsible for the deficiency is not an easy question to answer absolutely. That is because it likely depends both on the laws of the particular state where the property is located and on how the lender decides to foreclose against it. Here are a few general thoughts on the subject to help you get headed in the right direction. For non-judicial foreclosure states, in general, foreclosure prohibits the foreclosing lender from pursuing the borrower for any deficiency that results from the foreclosure sale. While the foreclosure sale wipes out all of the liens against the property, it does not eliminate the ability of a junior mortgage non-foreclosing lien holder from pursuing the borrower after the foreclosure sale. So, if you have a second mortgage or a home equity line of credit, keep in mind that a foreclosure by the first mortgage doesn't relieve you of your responsibility for the repayment of those junior loans. Junior lien lien holders become unsecured creditors as a result of the foreclosure sale and end up having the same credit status and ability to pursue you as a credit card would. Therefore, these lien holders can pursue you in a collection action and get a judgment against you. However, these judgments are usually subject to discharge in bankruptcy if you're eligible and you choose to file. As a consequence of the creditor's unsecured status, borrowers can oftentimes negotiate a greatly reduced payoff on these debts because the creditor would stand to get nothing if the debt is discharged through bankruptcy. It's very rare that a borrower would end up owing a deficiency on a first mortgage after a non-judicial foreclosure, but if the laws of your state allow for it, then the first mortgage lien holder is also unsecured creditor who can pursue you in a collection action. However, they too can also be negotiated with and the debt is also subject to a discharge in bankruptcy. As for judicial foreclosures, most, but not all, judicial foreclosure states not only allow the lender to take possession of the property, but also give the lender the ability to pursue the borrower for the deficiency post foreclosure. Whether or not the lender will actually pursue the borrower for a deficiency will most likely turn on the financial of the ability of the borrower to repay it. If the borrower has significant assets such as other real property, liquid cash reserves, or makes a significant W-2 income, the lender would likely pursue the borrower for some sort of repayment of the remaining deficiency balance. The deficiency judgment that results from a judicial foreclosure can also be recorded against other real property that the borrower may have, which makes refinancing or selling that property impossible without paying off the judgment creditor out of closing. A judgment can also be used to force a borrower's employer to garnish their wages. However, since most borrowers do not have significant real estate holdings or W-2 wages, and most any judgment resulting from a judicial foreclosure is dischargeable in bankruptcy, many lenders choose to simply write off the debt rather than paying the costs associated with collecting on a debt that they may never receive payment for in the first place. For a detailed look at the foreclosure rules and procedures in your state, please click on the state in which the property is located from the list below. After reviewing the information, if you have any questions as to how the foreclosure process works in your state, or whether or not you'll be held responsible for any deficiency which results from a foreclosure sale, please contact one of the trusted attorneys in the shortcircle.com community for further guidance. If you're unaware of the legal implications of a foreclosure, spending a few dollars to talk to a professional is the cheapest insurance you can buy to help protect you from making a bad decision.